Hello, it's Sally here at Dotty V. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, today I'm going to do a vintage haul. It's a little bit um, earlier than I usually do in the month, but um, as you can see, I've got quite a haul here and it's that it's getting too big to store it all in one place and I want to use some of the bits. So I just thought I'd go through it with you now and um, show you what I've got. What I've managed to collect over the month and pick up. So let's start with, I'm just moving them out of the way. I'm going to start with these here. This um, I've been to this shop before and I think I've showed you some little bits I've, um, I've bought from them before. It's, I think it's um, the shop. These are new. These are all new. It, the shop is called so Stream Green, and I think they're Danish. It's, I think they're Danish. Um, there's, I went to one in Derby. This, these are from Derby. Um, I've also been to the shop in Nottingham as well. I don't know where else they are. Um, whether well, there the, must be a Danish shop. Um, I can see that they've got Sweden. The currencies here, they've got Sweden, Norway, um, Switzerland they've got euro so i should think it's probably just europe that they're in uh, but i just thought they were really pretty some little fabrics so um just i'm sure are the fat quarters maybe i won't undo it but um just thought they were quite pretty so i got um a little blue one with um berries on i don't know whether they're supposed to be cherries or not but they're orange um a lovely check um check red and then a pretty little a spotty one so got those and also um, trim. You can always use trim, can't you? So I thought this was really nice. I don't think I've got one like this. So this is a red and white one. And I've also got, hopefully you can see that. I've not unwrapped it yet. That's like a, a thin, a thin green with peach little dots on it. So I've got those and they're really good prices um, in pounds. That, that, that was £2.68. They're really random prices. I'm presuming it's because of the exchange rate. Um, this was... Two pounds ninety six, um, three pounds forty six. Uh, that was three pounds forty six as well. So really good prices for pretty little fabrics that I haven't really got anything like those. So got those. Then I went to, not that one. Go for these ones next. I went to um, a charity shop in uh, Melton Mowbray. It's a Leicestershire town. Um, I've been there before and um, don't go that often so it's nice just to have a look around they have got a little haberdashery section it was last time I went I got loads of stuff this time wasn't really as much stuff to, that I liked anyway so I got this though I think it's only a poly cotton but I just love the um, the pattern and this about um, I think there's about three or four meters here it's quite a lot and it was two pounds fifty for, for all that so I thought that was a bargain um, I got that as well which is just some navy trim which was a couple of pounds, I think. It's not got price, I don't know what that is. It's just the um, manufacturer's thing or whatever. And then a little little pot, I think it's just got pins in it. Um, I'm not sure how much that was because it's got 25p and it's got 50p on it. So I don't know what she charged me, but um, I just like the tin. They're sweet. Um, little hoop, I think I got this from a charity shop because I'm fancying doing a little, um, it's not quite level that isn't, it's not in the centre, but you can, because the plastic you can manipulate them round and it can the, the hook can either go there or it can go here so you have it that way around because the, the plastic <laughs> moves it, it can it can go either way which is quite good so it can go that way as well but i'm quite i'm thinking i'm quite like to do something that way can i get it back on yeah there I like to do something in one of those so that was a pound i think i was so it wasn't too much that was from a charity shop as well then i have a um this I've, I've already cut that out but it's a panel of um suffolk puffs so i got that from ebay um can't remember the seller sorry uh, yes, I can. It's Betty's Vintage Textiles. It's just come to me. Betty's Vintage Textiles, I think it's called, on eBay. eBay. Yes, on eBay. She sells some lovely stuff. So that what was um, nice. It lasts me a while. There's lots of different um, patterns on there. Some dark. It, when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, it's a bit too dark, but there's not so many lovely, lovely patterns that, um, yeah, fell in love with it. So those stuff at puffs which will last a long long time 
Then I've got, right, I've got these. Um, and I've, I've had a moment. <laughs> I can't remember where I got them from. Oh, I remember picking them up. Where was I when I picked them up? I think it might have been charity shop. No, it wasn't. It was a car boot sale. It was a car boot sale. Um, just some vintage linens, doilies, um, tray cloths. Get there in the end. <laughs> That's quite a pretty one. I love the colours on that one. Uh, some of them are a bit, um, the stitching's a little bit um, bit naive. But um, this one here. But, um, and the, I've, I have washed these, but the um, the transfer hasn't come off. So you can still see the transfer underneath that one but um, I like the linen and I like the colour of the linen as well it's kind of like a yellowish well it's not really it's like an apricot colour there's that one and another one here which is just it's, it's lovely linen and it's got a nice edging to it that one and then there's a little set here um that's there again the um I can still see the transfer in places on this that hasn't come out which I was hoping it would do and then two little mats I think I don't know whether it's cotton or a poly cotton that I'm not sure it doesn't feel quite cottony enough so there's that anyway and then I got this one which was um Gwendolyn Lady I can't remember how much I paid for all of these there were only like pounds or a couple of pounds something like that I can't remember there that's different oh it's a little bit different yes they are she's got a turquoise on that one turquoise on that one perhaps they ran out of thread <laughs> and pale blue on that one but um oh, quite nice always i can't pass up a crinoline lady and i see one and then again just another tray cloth it's pretty but again i could see this the lines through it i don't know perhaps i didn't wash it well i don't know little hole but it'll probably get cut up I don't know but I thought it was pretty so that as well then where else did I go oh right I went to um where did I go oh was it called it was called it's called runway Monday in Newark and it's a disused runway um and every I think it's every month um, I think it's every month and they have a um, it's like a flea market it's not quite antique well it's, there are antiques there but it's it's a flea market so you kind of get really good prices that's not part of it actually take that out um, and yeah so that goes with that so I was looking uh, we went and mostly I didn't buy to sell really I bought mostly for well me and my husband went and um, we got some bits for the house and just bits we like really it's just nice to have a wander around and you know see things that you like and buy them because you don't see them you know they're one-offs you don't see them much anymore anyway I was also looking for fabrics um I went looking for French fabrics in particular I don't think this one's a French fabric but it was really pretty it's an old um um cushion cover I think it looks like it anyway it's the same size as a cushion cover I think it might be upside down that um but um I, it when, when I bought it the fabric was a lot more silkier and I've gone and washed it and I like it better now because it's a little bit heavier and firmer but um, it's got beautiful flowers on it so um I don't know what kind of fabric it is it's not um it's not a cotton or a linen but just like the the, the fabric the patterns so I got that um and then I got this here, which is actually, a, I mean, it, it, look at it, it's, it's seen better days, the poor thing. But, you know, I love all that. It's got history to it. It's been loved and used, but it's a pillowcase, but it's all hand stitched. It's a handmade pillowcase. I suppose inside you can see the fabric as it, as it would have been more or less new. So that's, that's quite a, although it's not too bad on some parts, but some parts it's, um, it's a little bit worn. But I just love the fabric, the pattern. thought it was beautiful. So I couldn't resist that. So I got that one. I'll go with my stash. Um, and then this is um, the French stuff. There wasn't that much there, to be honest. Um, I got some green tick in. There's quite a lot of green tick in there, um, which will go into kits as well. Let's just keep some for myself. It's quite a soft. Um, sometimes they're quite hard, but um, this, this one's quite a soft one. Um, it has been washed and ironed and everything and um, you can see where, but where it's been taken off 
whatever it was on in the first place. It's, it's marked up a little bit, but um, green ticking is always is always good to have, isn't it? I'm just going to pop that over over the way, just um, and then I got this little trim as well from the same seller, which I thought was really lovely. So not too much there, but um, you don't need much for slow stitching, do you? So. Um, I've got that to go into my stash, and then this here. This is this was my favourite buy of all. It's just lovely. This um, I think did it have a? I can't remember whether this had a name on the salvage or not. No, it hasn't. I thought it did have, but I must have been thinking about another different one. No, it's not got any. But uh, yeah, just love the fabric of this one, and there's quite a lot of this as well. I think, I mean, there is there are marks and a little bit of holes few holes but um i don't know whether it was a tablecloth or whether it was um it's got a it's got a thing here that maybe a pole could go through i don't know what it was but just love that fabric so i had to have that it was coming home with me so that's that and then this here oh this was off loughborough market <laughs> and this is a lovely little pinny so i just love the fabric i love the little edging on it i don't know whether it's it's handmade, maybe. Well, it's been made on a machine, but I think it's, you know, it's been homemade, if you like. So, so that was sweet. I love the colour. Um, oh, and then <laughs> uh, Christine from Crate and Craft with Christine. I'm still looking out for a C for you, um, but <laughs> I found another card of S's and I couldn't resist because they were like uh, seven pounds <laughs> for all of these. Um, it was, yeah, I couldn't resist them. I know I've already got half a card already, but, um, you, you know, when you see something like this, you don't pass it up. So while I'm still looking out for it, I know Christine wants to see for her, um, her work, but I couldn't resist the S's again. So I've bought another card of S's. Aren't I lucky? So, um, yeah, I was really pleased to find those. They're just, uh, you just can't find, you know, they're just, when you see them, you have to buy them. They just come up every so often and, um, it just, I thought, I couldn't believe it when I saw my eyes and thought, it's an S again. So I've got to have those. So, But I am still looking out for you, Christine. <laughs> um, right, what have we got next? Oh, we've got um, this one here is a package that I ordered. Um, I'm just trying to think where I ordered it from. I think it was eBay, an eBay seller. I can't remember. It's marble, marble something. Mar marble. And then some numbers. I can't remember what the numbers are. Anyway, it's a little pack. I'm just going to take the paper away. I think I've already used something out of this because it was so lovely. I'm just going to move some of this out. I'm just going to move some of this out of the way because um, the window is right in front of me and it shadows the light. So I'm just going to, if I put too much near the window there, that's a bit better, isn't it? It's a bit brighter now. So yeah, I've got um, a little pack of goodies. So we'll sort that one out in a bit. And it's just pieces of, I mean, it's kind of like the thing I do, but it's nice to have other people's kits as well, because you get in different fabrics, you know, you, that, you know, if I bought a piece of that or a, a metre of that or whatever, it would cost me more. And I, I don't want all of a metre. So a nice little piece like that is perfect. And then you've got your like little off cuts of um, doilies and stuff. There's a little lace collar. I think there might be two... Yep, there's two of those little lace collar really pretty just little bits of lace that um i can use that one that one's really pretty that's lovely isn't it and then oops some edging crocheted edging a little bit of um ribbon probably won't use it might go into a grab bag for the shop or whatever or a pack a um, little bit of lilac lace which i don't have any lilac lace and um, another piece of edging that's pretty a little bit of trim um another bit there i don't know which way it goes around i think it's that way is lovely just all different things that i haven't got so they'll just oh that's from a um doily i should think but pretty pretty bit of um crochet work there 
that a little bit of um, silk ribbon woodland it's called like a brownish color I think it might be variegated um, threads can always be used and then just some more that's pretty isn't it oh look at that gorgeous that one there oh another thread a complete doily there got a few little stains and that little hole there but I don't mind that at all in fact I quite like that it just shows the history of you know it's had another life and now it's um now it's here hopefully going on to another life and that's another one of the same as the other one a um, little bit of um decorative embroidery cross stitch that one that one's pretty like that and some um oh geraniums aren't they the geraniums a little bit of cut work and then some more fabrics so just lovely little pieces that will go into my stash it's nice love the um, design of this one it's a bit chiffony which i'm not a fan of really but i do like the design <coughs> excuse me um what's next another little floral piece that's quite a big piece actually that's nice rose or camellia i think it's a camellia oh look um <laughs> can't undo it it's one of my favorite flowers i love those i think they're called auriculars there really nice oh this one's a lovely piece of bark cloth floral I like that and um, then a vase again um, geraniums isn't it geraniums in a vase it'd be nice for the thread painted I'd probably like to bring out the colour of that one a little bit more a little bit of floral fabric a little bit of bright another bright um oops oh, a couple more so a little rosy faded rosy pattern and another florally one that's nice as well and then also some little bits and pieces in here i think it was about 14 pounds the whole lot including postage 14 yeah i think it's about 14 pounds might have been slightly less i can't remember so little thread cards um buttons that's quite a pretty one isn't it oh what's the glass one there yeah and some little uh, pansies. Oh, and that's another button inside as well. So I thought that was. I've had. A, I have had one of her kits before. I can't remember if I said that or not. But um, and always picking little pieces up to use in my stitcheries. That's not gonna come up right there, there. So that's that one. And then finally, last but not least. This here is from Natalie at, sorry, but Natalie, I had to write it down just in case I had a mind block, Flo and Cyril. Um, Natalie sells through Flo and Cyril, well, that's her, her company, um, on Instagram. I think, no, sorry, it's not, no, 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 it's Etsy. She's on Etsy. I think she is on Instagram. I don't think she sells through that. I think it's all through Etsy. And she does great. This is my second pack of, um, of these that I've had. Vintage stuff, of course. She does other things as well. Go and check out her um, her Etsy store. Um, and she, I'm, I'm presuming she, she she's the one that sews them down. They're all sewn down. <laughs> I mean, how lovely is that presented? Another piece of card there. Oops, everything's going. Another card from her as well. But uh, yeah, gorgeous, faded, lovely old Suffolk puffs. So if you need any for your collection, go and have a look at Natalie's page. It's Flo and Cyril on Etsy. Um, and yeah, 
So I think she's into slow stitching as well. We've had a couple of conversations about slow stitching as well. So it's always nice to find a kindred spirit. So hello, Natalie. Um, and thank you. Love them. They're going to go into my um, little tin that I store all the others in. And um, I think that's it for now. That's my stash done for this month. So um, lots of lovely goodies to add to my collection. And I will be doing some kits as well um, as soon as I get around to it. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you again soon. So take care. Bye bye.